Hello everybody, welcome back to Madables, and welcome back to another Nuzlocke reaction. We started doing these about a month ago with Jaden and Atherad, and I'm kind of I'm kind of obsessed with them. I, I kind of like these, because one, I suck at the game a little bit. Just, just a little bit. So I learned a lot of stuff, and two, the animations are pretty sick. I never really watched animation YouTubers before, but they're pretty talented. They got a lot of storytelling qualities and a lot of just skills. It takes a lot to be an animator. But I'm also a noob, so I, I just love learning through watching other people's experiences and kind of remembering, hey, don't forget, well, ground and rock are strong against fire, but also ground and rock are the same thing, but also not the same thing. It's kind of annoying, and I, I, I get infuriated about it every single time. Anyway, let's just get into it. Also, yes, I shaved my face. I don't know if I look younger or if I just look like, uh, I, don't, I don't even know. I, I just, I, I feel very different when I don't have that scruff on my face. Anyway, this is the part where I usually say, hey, hey, hey you, hi. How's it going there, bud? We have you subscribed yet? No. Okay. Well, I'll wait for. I'm not gonna wait. I, I don't have the attention span to wait. But I really appreciate it if you supported me and either by liking, commenting, or subscribing or all the above. It it make me feel really good. And if you want, I'll. I don't know. I, I still have nothing to offer you besides more content, which I produce five times a week. I guess. All right. Let's get into it. Before we begin, I okay. need to go over a few things. Yeah. I've never done a Nuzlocke before, and okay. I guess this technically still doesn't count as one. I don't know. It I wonder if, like... Depends how strict the whole... If, if it's your first Nuzlocke, did he just keep... Like, is this his first attempt, or is this, like... Is this, like, did he die and, like, reset and stuff like that? Because it's impressive if you could beat your first Nuzlocke without dying. The Nuzlocke community is. But yeah. basically, I abide by all the rules of a typical Nuzlocke where I name them. So I get attached. And if they faint, I can't use them anymore. Yes. But the additions that I add is that I can catch any bug type I want. If okay. it faints, I can't use any of that same species. So okay. under these rules, I can... That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. You know, it's, it's like a self rule. Like... I guess he likes bug types. You can use more bug. That's cool. I like that. Technically run out of Pokemon. Got it? Good. Grab your popcorn, use the restroom, get comfy because we're in it for the long haul, baby. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, I should mention that I've never played this before. So that should be interesting. Like this Here game? Here goes my Pokemon kind of sort of, but not really Nuzlocke. A long time ago, I witnessed a finals Pokemon match where the yeah. upcoming challenger took the throne as yeah. the new champion. And it's ever her hat, since then, that hair. very moment motivated me to one day embark on my own journey. Yep. Today was the day that me and my neighbor hopped. Okay, so let me let me talk about Sword and Shield for just a hot second. I hate almost every, well, I don't all right, I don't hate them, but like I I really don't like the newer Pokemon games. They're they're totally chill and they're a they're like a cool time. All right, they're fine for like a first playthrough. But I I feel like I will never nuzlocke a newer Pokemon game because the amount of dialogue that's in the beginning and the amount of time it takes to get into the game with Arceus with Sword and Shield like it took I feel like it took hours. It, I feel like it took hours. It was probably like only 30 minutes, but still 30 minutes is a long time if you die and you have to start back up again. It's exhausting a little bit, you know? Became official Pokemon trainers. Yeah. Pop's older brother, Leon, was none other than the undefeated champion of Galar, and he was going to endorse both of us so that way we could compete in the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Sure. And I was like super hyped because I wanted to, for the longest time, assemble the most powerful bug team. Damn judge me <laughs> I, was, I was gonna judge him a moment it kind of reminds me of like what what was his name weevil or something from Yu-Gi-Oh. he only has bug types i i like the idea of bug types i just feel bad because their typing is usually not the best you know but they have a little, there's like a cool lot of cool synergies and stuff like that you could do with them i like the i like the design of them it's just in practicality you can really only use them for very specific things i like bug pokemon all right mm -hmm. unfortunately leon didn't have any to start out with what, what what's your what's your what's your pick for uh the starters I'm, I'm talking to you. What is you, which one did you pick? Which which one do you like the best? I'm I'm a Grookey guy. I like Grookey. So I chose Sobble. Stick. I named Sops. My very first Galarian Pokemon. Okay. Right off the bat, Hops challenges me. And at first, I thought a one v two was a bit unfair. But mm -hmm. then Sops quickly learned Water Gun and swept Hops' team. <laughs> hmm. I, I never I never thought about that's what <laughs> that's a Water Gun. That's that's exactly what it is. But this is what our future encounters are gonna be like. I was about to leave on my journey, but Hops needed help finding a stray Wooloo, so navigating through the foggy forest, we didn't find the Wooloo, but some we weird dog, giant yeah. dog. Mm -hmm. It was pretty random stuff, but we did end up finding what? the Wooloo. Why was he showing a picture of the thing? Take your sheep. All right, now we can officially leave. Yeah. Strapped on my Tanjiro box of a backpack, cute. and together with Sops, our journey oh, has that's a that's adorable. Look how cute that is, dude. It's so cute. I love that. Officially begun. Okay. Route one, we ran into some of the new locals okay 
New local. Let's talk about new locals. Begun. Again, I'm a Pokemon noob. One, we ran into some. Of I don't the... have a lot to offer information wise. I I I I like the designs of Pokemon's. And I like talking about typings and weird stuff like that. But I feel like there's always, always, always in every Pokemon game, there's some kind of squirrel, beaver, badger, a rat thing, and there's always a bird. And then the fox is usually like a cat, or I guess I, it's usually a cat, right? She's a cat or a cat or pee, I guess, at that point, you know? But I feel like it's always this stupid structure, and this is why I hate running Nuzlocks or any kind of Kaizo stuff on newer games or just actually in general without, like, randomizers and stuff like that. Like, I feel like every time you, like, I, I've lost a lot of Nuzlocks, all right? So I have a lot, I'm very passionate about this, okay? I'm not great at the game, but I like playing it. But, like, it's just, like, it's, like, every time you start over, it's always, like, oh, here's my Rattata encounter, here's my Caterpie encounter, here's my Pidgey encounter, okay, now in the cave I'll either get a Geodude or a Zubat, and then vice versa. So I'm excited to try my next, uh, my next sub goal for my Twitch is doing a randomized Nuzlocke, I think with Fire Red or Heart Gold, I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, so I, I get to see, I guess, what that experience is gonna be like after that. Sorry for the little rant, it's just, I'm, I'm very passionate about this, these. New locals. <laughs> Ugh, why is everything so weird? Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Finally, something that I actually recognize. <laughs> what happened to you? Yeah, right. I wasn't entirely sure if there were any bugs in the area, but mm -hmm. sure enough, I found this thing called a Grubbin, and oh. I named it Woomps. Woomps. My very first bug Pokemon. He's so, he's I am excited to see what you'll become, Woomps, since I've stopped paying attention after Unova Region. I, I'm the same. I, I like learning the... Um the evolution through experience because you're like, oh, what is this gonna be? And you're like, oh, that thing kicked my ass three gyms ago. <gasps> and just like that, I had Sops, Woomps, and Blinks. It's kinda sick. We didn't get that okay. far into the journey when Hops challenged us yet again. Anyways, fun Jesus. fact, Blinks evolved from the battle, so okay, thanks so for the dice. three XP and All money. Right. This old lady and another lady named Sonya were watching and they were like, Dang. All right, you can participate in the gym challenge. Mm -hmm. well, why, thank you, random people I just met. I, I like that he's a great animator, but he, he like his style is boxes. He, he likes box faces or box heads. I haven't, like his characters want box, but they only have box heads. Like I didn't really- But they're great, they're like well drawn. Need your permission, but I appreciate the support. Okay. Optimo to Stoke City. We arrive at something called the Wild Area, and that is where I run into a Carablast. And if you don't know, Carablast's evolved form as Cavalier was like oh. super cool, super strong, and would make a great addition to the team. Sure, and I really was a steel wanted bug? one because I've never had one before. But then I unfortunately remember that you need to trade for it, and I didn't have anyone oh, to trade with. So I hate. And every other does like I talk about hating trade evos. They're the worst. I hate wish they would take them out. I know you can buy the item in Arceus, but it's too it's too late. You've already gone through ten games. Enough of that shit. Okay. Oh, this thing was pretty much useless. Yeah. Moving along the way, we barely avoided complete catastrophe oh, when Sops almost swine. died to a level thirty pillow swine. Jeez, Why are there such strong Pokemon here? So carefully navigating through the wild area, we arrive in the city. Beat up some members of Team Yell and this girl named Marnie in the hotel lobby so I could get my room key. Hey, cool. what a cool statue. Woke up early, smiled and waved for the opening ceremony, shook hands with Chairman Rose, and mm -hmm. pushed on to my first challenge. Just outside the go. city on Route 3, I was doing some exploring in case there were any bugs in the area, but after a while of no luck, we pressed on. Along the way in some cave, Woomps evolved into something interesting. He's the bus. And then I met this bundle of joy. Bade. We just had a nice Bade. little discussion about his personality, and then after exiting the cave, I found a Joltik I named oh, Lucas. Cute. And together with Wombs and- oh, I'm getting a little persuaded on these bug types. They're, they're, they're very cute. The, he's, got a, he's got a bus and a Pikachu kind of thing. Blinks, bada bing, bada boom. Holy crap, this is what Dynamax Pokemon battles are like. Yeah. The first gym battle was ours. They were very hyped. Cool, cool. Oh, you know, you evolved. Nice. On the way to the next town, we were having a light conditioning session to get mm -hmm. Lucas up to- I also wish they would also, like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't like talking about these things. I, I wish they would change the, like, typings of um, your starters. Why is it always, like, rock, not rock, water, fire, and grass? You know, I would love to see, like, a bug, psychic, or, like, a rock or dark type, like, starter and stuff. Like, like mix it up a little bit, you know? Have a little bit of fun! The par with the rest of the team and you know what I must say things are really we'll starting to, to look up for my bug team And I was sure that Lucas would add so much value Especially oh, considering the fact that the next gym was water type. We got this in the back Dude, I saw the Wobbuffet. 
Lucas, no! Yep. A stupid wild Wobbuffet was able to perfectly counter Lucas's attack. Not perfect. It's, it's going to be one or two things, right? And cause the team's first death. Wobbuffet's Fearing the dangerous. same thing would happen to my other Pokemon, we ran in shame. <laughs> Lucas wasn't with us for long, and we may not be able to get revenge now, mm -hmm. but Lucas's death gave <sighs> us the spark to really zoom through our next challenge. Nice, okay. Welcome to oh. the team, Zweeps. Ah, yes. It, These are, he's getting such random Pokemon. It's my They're rival. So cute, it's though. time to show you how strong I am. Let's have a rematch. Out of my way. Okay. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. I don't really like you, dude, and your attitude sucks. Mm -hmm. Also, where the heck do you think you're going? Harold. Our next gym challenge was Kabu. Oh, that's... Jesus, that's a scary looking lineup there. Look at look at the I was gonna say the graphics, but look at the, like how it looks. This this is beautiful here. Home beautiful. of the bane to almost all my bug types. My newest member, Harold, was pretty much Harold. useless here, so Sots was going to have to carry this one. Going through the challenges where we had to team up with randos and catch Pokemon for points, I mm -hmm. thought it was a good idea to use my recently evolved sweeps since it was the best choice to clear each one. Oh, nice. On the okay. final challenge. Sweeps was backstabbed no. and perished. Is that pursuit? Okay, I honestly felt pretty guilty about what happened. But how the heck was I supposed to know that the other trainer was going to betray me like that? You monster. We can mourn later. We got a badge to win. We Jeez. burst through the gym doors and it was game on. Sops took out the first two Pokemon pretty yep. easily. And Is then it was, the soundtrack? it was time for Kabu's ultimate Pokemon. Sent to Scorch. Dude, Sun Scorch is pretty cool looking, right? He's, he's pretty cool. I like him. Finally, before my own eyes was one of the coolest bug type Pokemon I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Easily one of my favorites. Yeah. Such an impressive beast. And I was super jealous. But now I can unleash my secret weapon. It was time to show my fifth Pokemon. Yeah, you're Nezuko. <laughs> You've been hidden way too long, but it's time for you to come out. Let's go, Grievous. Oh. oh, cute, he's got one. Basically, a while back on Route 3, after asking around, I caught a Sizzlipede, and you know what? Oh, I absolutely cute. loved it. Trained it yeah. and primed for a moment just like this. Now, let's see, Dude, that's kinda sick, though. see who sent to Scorch was better. Yeah, yeah. It was an intense battle between the two fiery Awesome, centipedes. dude, look at this. Based on appearance alone, it would have seemed like Kabu sent to Scorch had the upper hand since mm -hmm. it was much bigger and unfortunately cooler looking. But yep. Grievous's flame was fueled by the innocent blood of Sweeps. Yeah, and in for the end, Sweeps. That is what gave us victory. Awesome. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Grievous. Yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. Double yes. <laughs> After some training, Harold really toughened up by evolving into a Galissapod. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, how about that? And then we yeah. picked up Skarner the Skorupai along the way to oh, Hammerlock. Oh, I love Skarner the Skorupai, the, 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 the thing there. It's, it's evolution's like one of my favorite poison types, I think. I forgot. I forgot exactly how I, when I used it, but I remember it being pretty good. All right, I think. Right? I, I'm, I'm a big poison type guy. All right, if I was to ever do something like this for specific typing, it would be poison. I love poison. I love toxic, toxic spikes, all that jazz. Fox City. He's no sweeps, but I'm sure he'll be useful for something. Cute. Shortly after, I ran into Hops once again, who mm -hmm. was feeling pretty down about himself because apparently he lost to Bade in a Pokemon battle. So it was up to me to be the good friend that I am and help him feel better mm -hmm. by beating him up. Yeah. From there, it was on to the oh, fighting shit. type gym where Blinks got real psyched up. If you know what oh, I mean. Okay, Clean I didn't know sweep, it's a psychic type. Badge four. But after the battle just outside, we found out that Bade, Mr. Ooh, I was endorsed by the chairman. Ooh, I'm so special. Ooh, everyone is beneath me. Ooh, thought it was okay to blast some hole in some ancient sacred art. Oh, that's right, the little Because he was there. entitled okay. to it. Mm -hmm. Are you sure your name isn't like Karen? I tried to give him another beatdown lesson with my Skarner, but then he ended up getting a critical one hit by no. Solus's Psybeam. Oh, well. I don't think it's just the fact that it's a critical hit. Like, isn't it poisons weak against psychic, right? So, like, it's it was, it's gonna happen. It happens to me constantly, too, because I, I always use poison types, and uh, God, everybody in Kaizo so far uses, like, some kind of psychic move, too. It's like psychic earthquake and rock slide and all that jazz. But, like, you gotta be careful, because, like, it doesn't... It's, it's weird, because, like, the typings don't always seem like they fit sometimes. So, like, like fire, grass, water, all that jazz, like, always... But then from time to time, I'll be like, oh, tentacool. And I'll just get side beam by an Alakazam. I'm like, that's right. I suck at this game. 
of all people to lose a Pokemon to. You've got to be kidding me. I just got you. Vengeance. Well, Bade got in a lot of trouble for what he did anyway and ended up getting kicked out of the league, so I don't feel bad for him at all. Nice. Huh. Well, that looks important. Moving on, replacing Skarner was Jerry the Dwebble Jerry. I found and quickly evolved. Look, I was running out of bodies to fill. Dude, look at the, dude, I like that, the, um, the Steel Ant. I, th I just, is that what, what's its name again? It doesn't matter. I love Steel Ant. I, I love Butterfree. I always get shit on for liking Butterfree, but like, spores are underrated. All right, Poison Spore, Sleep Powder, Stun Spore, all that jazz. And it's got like, what, Confusion at like level, like what, 10, 12-ish? It's, it's awesome. Fill these Pokeballs with, so I had no other choice. Yeah, I was yeah. beginning to be concerned about Woomp since this whole time it hasn't evolved yet. I really wondered if I was like, missing something mm -hmm. but shortly afterwards Woomp's rummaged through my bag and found a thunderstone i had earlier and evolved oh that's kind of sick Those i had cool. this yeah. suspicious feeling that the next Same, gym dude. leader opal primarily uses fairy types mm -hmm. it just was a hunt it was a really cool location though like if there's one thing i admit, liked about this game it's that whole area that area was sick that that gym fight was pretty cool too and, you know gee it would have been real nice to have somebody who could deal with fairy types right about now. I have no information about fairy types. I've never fought one, never used one. Now, if it wasn't for a certain person. But even so, Woomps and Grievous managed to sweep right through because nice, nice. fairy types are stupid. Except for you, Sweeps. You're good. <laughs> On the way to the next town, another explosion goes off. Sonia and the old professor lady are there and they give some explanation about two brothers, darkest day, giant Pokemon running mm -hmm. rampant. Really giving me some Attack on Titan vibes. Jesus Christ. So I left them to go deal with <laughs> no, that, and I moved on to Route 8, where I picked up Nom Nom the Snom. Thorny oh was the sixth gym God. leader who used Rock-type Pokemon, That's but so they cute. quickly sank under the brute force of Harold and Sops. Oh yeah, and Jerry spamming Dig. Then nice. it was on to Pierre. All right, well, this gym uses nothing but Look a bunch of dark types, is. so... Oh my God. Wait right here, Nom Nom. Blinks will watch you. We'll be right back. Give me so that. cute. Okay, let's go. Okay, two times could just be a coincidence, but mm -hmm. three times, turns out giant Pokemon are spawning all over the place. Fear of Titan's rising. I had this feeling that this was only the beginning of something really bad, that maybe I should help. But nah, they told me to go focus on getting my last batch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then. And that might be a challenge, because the last gym is home to Jesus Rayhan and Christ. his- Look how cool this is though. I, uh, is that the, so is that the snake Flygon and, uh, I don't know that thing. I don't know the thing on the right, but the snake is a really cool Pokemon. Dude, Dragon. It's a lot of cool Pokemon. Pokemon. Which are no- And I don't know the thing on the back is. ...to be tough, resistant to most types, and are pretty versatile with their movesets. Okay. It was kind of a good news, bad news situation. The good news is, is that Nom Nom received 10,000 grams of friendship to evolve and give us the ice advantage. Oh, that's kind of the sick. The bad news is, is that she is literally the definition of a glass cannon. Meaning, oh. yes, Nom Nom big strong- Excuse me, am I gonna get demonetized for this? ...against dragon types, but if Nom Nom touch candle or pebble, which dragons are more than capable of throwing, mm -hmm. Nom Nom go bye-bye. So as we went in, the entire team had one objective on their mind. Protect. Nom nom. This nice. time it was in the form of a double battle and making sure they oh didn't get any God. chance to gain. I would not even risk it, dude. A double battle, especially? No way, man. Momentum. Harold and Nom Nom made quick work of his Flygon and Gigalith. But then came out his big bat. Oh, that's right, the Skyscraper. That stupid Pokemon. And Dureladon and Sandaconda. Mm -hmm. You've got to be kidding me. Dureladon was literally the love child of Godzilla and a skyscraper. Yep. What, what could we possibly do against a building? I, it, what, what is that? Like steel? Is it steel dragon? Like what exactly is the typing of it? I quickly switched Harold for Blinks, hoping that he could put it to sleep and then have Nom Nom finish it off in the Aurora Beam. Okay. But at the like last that. moment, Blinks became paralyzed from the Sandaconda, no. and Nom Nom's attack wasn't enough to take down the Dureladon. And before I could switch both of them out. It's too Blinks was no, it's a oh my god, Stonewall. dude. You did well, Blinks. You did your job. Sops and Jerry came in, and even though they Jerry. both became paralyzed by the Sandaconda, Jerry couldn't land a single. Dude, double, double battles are so exhausting. You always gotta be careful because they, like, whenever it's the PC playing it, they already have a strategy for you. You, like, 
you don't even make a difference. They've done this a thousand times with a thousand other trainers. You're just some random person that walked up and you're not even knowing what you're getting into, especially with a Nuzlocke. So one of them's gonna paralyze you, sleep you, confuse you, poison you, and the other one's just gonna obliterate you. All right, you gotta be really careful with double battles. Dig. They were able to stall out Dureladon's Dynamax form, giving Harold the opportunity to come back in and brick break the crap out of it. Nice, and nice. finally deal with that pesky snake. The last gym badge was ours. Nice. But we lost Blinks. A true OG of the bug squad and provided so much value to the team. Mm -hmm. I was not sure if I could find anyone to fill his- I think he should be adding just a little bit of like ambiance music for this part. Like I feel like the silence is a little strong here. It's, it's just a little, a little thing I think would be cute if it was included. Just a little like, just a little Nintendo Wii like menu thing or just something very subtle, you know? Spot this far into the journey. I think Sonya was trying to talk to me, possibly about some more end of the world stuff, but I was too sad about Blinks to really pay attention. I, I never pay attention to the Pokemon stories. I know some of them are pretty okay. There was one I forgot where like, they they want to release Pokemon because they're not meant for battling and stuff like that, and I thought that was pretty cool. But I, I really can give a shit about some of the story in this game. I really just love the gameplay. A world without Blinks is not a world worth living anyway. Mm -hmm. I had to take a few days off to prepare my team and our newest member for the final challenges, but once we were ready, we arrived in Winden City and stepped through those stadium doors for the quarterfinals. Almost there. Marnie and her dark Pokemon were up. Dude, look at these. Oh my god. I mean, most of them aren't that intimidating, but that thing in the back is super scary. First, and this is honestly the best time as any to debut the newbie. So I brought out Gaia, the S Cavalier. Oh, you got AKA him. AKA formerly useless. <laughs> yep, that's right. And stacked with a sword stance, Gaia became a true powerhouse and swept the entire nice. Team. Then we I, I don't blame people for using Dragon Dance or Sword Dance. I I feel like I can't rely on crutches because if I feel like if I know that I can use Dragon Dance or Sword Dance, I'm gonna abuse it. So knowing myself, I'm like I will not allow myself to do that kind of thing. Like I'll I'll do like maybe a bulk up for like a little bit, but I definitely won't have that kind of thing in like the most of the game kind of situation. It, it's just I don't know. I I feel like it's if you know what you're doing and you use it, so I don't want to rely on it. I feel like I won't learn if I rely on it, so I'm not going to do it. Same thing with facade and guts and all that jazz. I just, I can't cheese the system like that. He had one final match between me and my rival Hop. Yeah, you probably already know how that went. Zops came out for one last fight, and we ended the rivalry. Nice. Yep, it really was his last fight. And honestly, not bringing Sops into the final match was probably one of the hardest decisions I had to make so far. Mm -hmm. My very first Pokemon, and the one that has watched over all of his teammates <laughs> and saw them grow boy. into the team they are now. For but sure. I believed with this team, even Jerry, we even had the Jerry. best chance of Dude, winning. Dude, Jerry, come on. He's got a dick. That's all you need. Sops will be with us in spirit. So I... Okay, pause there. So I thought he was just gonna like use like bugs when he could whenever he catches them, but like I didn't think it was just gonna be a pure bug team. A lot of stuff happened in between leading up to the semi-final to final round, okay. but to summarize, celebratory dinner, evil staff of the key, tall building, crazy secretary lady, a tiny hint that Rose is actually bad and was behind the explosions, but meh, that's totally not a cause for concern. Ew, it's bait again, but he's less of a douchebag. Boom, boom, smash through the gym leader rematches, and Gaia bonks Durelodon in the face. Nice. We land in the finals. Dude, it's a cool bot. now we have come face to face with champion Leon. Every battle, everything we have been through has led us to this moment. It was time to show the world just how powerful my bug Pokemon truly are. And never mind, Rose is evil, and apparently the darkest day has begun. Well, that sure complicates things. Mm -hmm. Way to read the room, dude. No, this video's long as it is. Whatever. It's not that bad. I will go save the world. It, it's not that. His video is what twenty minutes long. The other ones are, I think, were like twenty-five to like thirty-five-ish. Like it's, it's tw like I thought this one was short considerably. Yes. Using two hundred IQ, Hops was pretty sure that the dog we ran into at the very beginning was important and could help us. So we headed back to our hometown to find it. And trekking through the creepy woods, we don't find the dog, but a rusty old sword and shield. Yep. That's all I you guess need. Those will have to do. We rush back to Hammerlock City's power plant and we find Chairman Rose going off about Galler's power supply crisis that's potentially coming in 10 years. And to stop it, he summoned this Eternatus thing, hoping he could control it and harness its power. Right. 
You're summoned to what now? Just my opinion, man. But a plan involving control of a legendary being with powers. It's never worked out. He's got a right. I mean, we have enough electrodes and stuff like that. I feel like it should be fine. Beyond understanding. Yeah. Usually doesn't end up going well. Basically, your plan is stupid. Rose didn't like that, and he was going to try to stop me with his team full of steel Pokemon. Jeez, steel types are not to mess around with. Oh, he's got one of those things too. I love the thing on the bottom left here. I forgot what it's called, but like I, I use it when I can. I think it's like a, it's like a tear down of Metagross, right? Kind of. Come on. So I left Grievous to deal with him. I, I head upstairs steel. to find Leon and what the heck is That's that? Right. I about no, this no, 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 no. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh monster, not a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. What kind of Pokemon would look like that? I quickly found out that it's such a random thing, right? Almost none of my Pokemon would be able to damage it without dying, so uh uh Jerry? Jerry, go! Yeah! Jerry made it mad. Internatus then turned into this giant starfish thing. Jesus yeah, that didn't make a whole lot of sense. And then we're like, uh uh, Rusty Sword and Shield! The dogs show up, merge with the stuff, and we defeat Internatus, where I catch it with a teeny tiny Pokeball. Yep. Crisis averted. Yeah, but I feel like it's so late. weird. Like, if you were, like, actually in that world and stuff, and you caught that Pokemon, and whenever you summon that thing, you basically summon, like, a, like, it's not God, but, like, I, Arceus is the God, right? I don't, regardless, it's just a very abstract Pokemon that only, like, one person can have, that barely can have. I feel like after this, like, what the hell do you do with your life, you know? Later, after one of the largest tangents ever, mm -hmm. you know, saving the world, we are finally back to our match. <sighs> Here we go. Today, we finally- Let's see, so he's got a Charizard or Rhyperior, right? There's the Sword and Shield guy. Oh my, it's a cool looking team. Lee face off against Leon. Whoop stuck out with a quick claw boost and was able to take out both Aegislash and Rhyperior. That's what Don't was. ask me how many Sneasels I needed to get through to find one. Leon's Dragapult was a tough one. That's, I was hoping that Nom Nom would be fast enough to take yeah. it out, but Nom Nom was outsped and was met with no. a flamethrower. I'm sorry, Nom Nom. Bye, we couldn't protect you that time. I love that he's just super jacked. Grievous though. came out and was able to coil up and crunch the crap out of the Dragapult, as cool. well as Leech Life, the monkey, for some healing. Mm -hmm. And then Gaia Leech was- Leech Life? You're still using Leech Life, dude? Isn't that like 30 damage? Was able to win head to head against his Haxorus. And then finally, his last Pokemon, Charizard. But mm -hmm. even though we outnumbered him- I think Charizard's a little... It's, it's, it's a little... I think he's a little overrated? Just a pinch? I don't know. It, it, I think he's fine. You know, flying is okay, fire's okay. Him 5 he's, to 1. Okay. I didn't feel any better, considering the fact that his Charizard still had pretty much every advantage over all my Pokémon. Okay. To deal with his Charizard, I had three choices. Harold, who could hopefully beat Charizard with water attacks, Whoops right. with electric attacks, and then Jerry with rocks. Dude, just just paralyze it and then water attacks, right? Is that, that's what I sent need? out Harold first, hoping that he could end it right then and there, but Charizard got the first strike, and with a powerful air Whoa. blast, he's faster. Oh. Harold was one shot. Bye, Harold. Oh crap. I sent in Whoops, hoping for another quick claw boost thunderbolt, but that too failed. Mm -hmm. and Wombs was burned to a crisp. Whoops. Two of my strongest Pokemon yeah. and my best chances to beat Charizard were both wiped out in an instant. At this point, victory was very bleak. If Jerry dies, Charizard will have no trouble defeating my remaining Pokemon. Oh god, I... And Jer it will be Jerry over. Do it, right? Jerry, you weren't our Jerry's strongest team member and often the butt of many jokes, but right <sighs> now, you are our last hope. He's got it. Oh, we're screwed. Jerry yeah, steps onto it. the battlefield, and Charizard raised a stone wall that came crashing down and staring into the face <sighs> of imminent defeat. Mm -hmm. He survived. Well, I might as well surrender at this he point. He survived. Tell me Spare he survived. Spare the rest of my Pokemon. But Jerry was still standing. I'm just, Our I, boy I there. No. Chunk it up to high defense or the fact that Jerry had a giant rock yep. to protect him. No. It was like the true power of friendship. This was our chance. I made Jerry jumbo sized and we showed that oversized Barney what it's Smash. like to get squashed by a giant rock. And it was at that moment we won. We completed the Pokemon Sword. Kind of, sort of, but not really Nuzlocke. It was a bittersweet moment since Gaia, Grievous, and Jerry were the only ones who survived. Hey, you made but it even so, this victory goes just as much to all the other team members who brought us to where we are now. Lucas, Sweeps, Skarner, Blinks, oh, Sops, Nom Nom, Harold, and Woomps. 
you are all champions. Beautiful job. Some might say that this is a good place to stop and be satisfied. But now that I'm here, mm -hmm. I realize that my journey isn't over. Achieving this title of Bug Champion of Galar is not an ultimate goal, but a mere stepping stone in my life. So with my team, I am setting out to continue on my journey oh. because I am sure somewhere out there, more challenges are oh, waiting cute. for me. And I say, bring it on. That's very cute. Very cute little thing for uh, Jaden as well, since she, I, I loved hers. Hers was immaculate. But I'll just do the outro here because, I mean, it's it's already a long enough video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to watch me re react to another Nuzlocke or something else that's gaming or Pokemon related, please leave in the comments below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I love reacting to those things. I hope you'll enjoy my commentary and my scrub mistakes and all the things I talk about and all that jazz. Anyway, subscribe to Madables for more reaction content. See ya.